in the last chapter of One Piece 820. The ground is shaking like it has never been before. Luffy hears something, and that's the cries of Zenisha. Hearing the voice of all things is a trait that our future Pirate King possesses. Jack is attacking, but is it too soon that we will see Jack again? He's becoming like the Mori of Zo. He keeps losing and he won't give up. But as we've seen from Jack, losing is not an option, like poor Sheep's Head. So that hints to us that Jack will not return to Kaido empty handed or it's game over for him. As I mentioned before, there is a traitor among Zo, so that is why Jack could find Zanisha again so easily. The traitor has a Viri card. Let's have a look at the possibilities of how can Jack take down Zanisha. We can't see him chopping down Zanisha like some kind of beanstalk. And Jack's mammoth form is too small to actually put more than a few scratches. So I believe we will see the first professional zone awakening from Jack and his mythical zone fruit mammoth. Here's what I believe we can see from Jack's awakened form. We all have seen these mindless zone awakenings and it won't happen to a billion belly world pirate. This awakened form will be like Chopper's humanoid version, standing tall, up straight with muscular strength, but his head will be an elephant. Neutral awakenings will happen with all the Devil Fruit users and I believe the awakening will be one with one's true nature. An example is Zoro's Asura, whereas one spirit has manifested into a deity being. Jack's awakening form will be the deity Ganesha. Iconic representations of Ganesha shows considerable variations, his form changing over time from that of a simple elephant in earliest depictions to Ganesha we know known today. Typically having the head of an elephant and a large roll turned belly, he is generally strong with 4 arms although the number may vary from 2 to 16. Jack's awakened Ganesha form will make a worthy match for any fighter. This battle will happen either against Ryzo where my friend Marco explained in his video or by Nikokomamushi and Inorashi to avenge the pain he caused their Minkman tribe or finally finish off by Luffy's elephant gun. One thing's for sure is that Sunisha will not die here because the Minkman people will lose their home and these Minkmen cannot fit into one ship and a submarine. So Zunisha will rest where the two groups split with the majority of Minks on board and what of Jack? He will be defeated here but will it be the last we will see of him? Well, we've already seen the weapons factories in previous cover pages, and we have seen Scotch, so I believe. Goodbye, Jack, and hello, Mecha Jack. Thanks for watching this video. It's different from my usual videos, so leave a comment down below what you think about it.